Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with, what are their energies towards you, what do they think or feel about you, how do they view this connection with you, and what do they wish they could tell you. All right, so let's jump right in for Pisces. Okay. Spirit angels, okay. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. Regarding love. Stay optimistic about your love life. I laugh because I keep getting this message. This one and it is it is safe for you to love. Keeps popping up. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, this could be for you or your person. Let's jump into the tarot for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? Regarding your micro. Okay. In the recent past, we have justice. Wow. Libra energy. In your energy, we have the three of pentacles reversed, five of coin reversed. Currently in the present, we have the ten of coin reversed. So that makes sense with the finances and career guide, some sort of um, financial difficulty or something with a long term commitment, not doing very well. Um, we'll see what that means. Magician reverse. OK, in their energy, we have the eight of coin. And the three of cups reverse. Some of you, um, someone's job is in the way here or interfering in some way. Someone's career or something to do with money. Then the near future, we have the Hermit Reversed Virgo Energy. We'll have to clarify and see what that means. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. Burdens, obligations, baggage, a heavy weight on a connection. Oh, oops. Okay. <laughs> so let's clarify these energies and see. We'll start with this justice card. This could be a legal situation. It could be that something is fair, balanced for you. Justice is here to make things right. Spirit angels, guys, for Pisces. It could be dealing with a Libra, a Virgo. It does not have to be. Those are just the signs that happen to be on the board right now. All right, tell me about justice. What is justice about? Why is justice here? Strength reversed. Okay, Leo energy. Let's move her justice up there. Tell me more. Why is justice here, spirit? Page of swords. Okay, so this could be some communication coming in here. Let me just move this over so I can have more room. Um, but why the strength card reverse? We get one more please for justice. The sun reverse. I feel like someone's making something right. I have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. The emperor manages to take charge, take control of a situation. Aries energy here. Um, they're usually very um, wise and courageous and don't let emotions get in the way of their decision making. I feel like there, there may have been a situation that was draining um, difficult. Maybe someone didn't have the courage to speak out. Um, maybe they kept something hidden, but I feel like this emperor is like trying to make things right. Because something's clearly off. I have the 10 of coin reverse with the magician reverse. Let's see what that's all about. Why is the 10 of coin reverse? 
for Pisces for why is the ten of coin reverse? <laughs> the magician. Okay, why is the ten of coin reverse? Get one more. It's like someone wants to step in and like make something happen. Oh, King of Swords reverse. Five of Cups. There's regrets about something to do with the past here. Maybe this is someone that's missing you or feeling like they've experienced a big loss. And I feel like it was due to deception. Why is the Magician here reversed? Why is the Magician reversed? Yep. Why is the Magician here reversed? Got the Hermit reversed once again and the Four of Cups reversed. So what I'm getting is that someone really screwed up here. Something did not go the way that someone hoped or someone expected. I feel like they invested in the wrong thing. It didn't manifest. They probably ignored their intuition. And now they're realizing what has happened, you know? And it's like now they want to manifest something else. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? Ah, so we have the Ace of Cups. So this is, and wow, the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is some serious business. This is like, let's talk about what we feel. Let's have clarity about what we feel. So I feel like this could have been someone that lied to themselves regarding how they felt. And I think that now they're realizing it, now that they're, they're in this mess, now that there has been a loss, now that something hasn't manifested, now it's like they're realizing something about love or maybe that they deceived someone else that they loved or deceive themselves regarding love. And I feel like the sun reverse, it's almost like something was hidden, something this person wasn't able to recognize. Why is the sun reverse? Why is the sun reverse? Nine of pentacles re uh, reverse. So this is someone that um, is attached to something. It's not free. They're not free. They're not independent. They're not secure in themselves. They could be having financial difficulties. You know, they're not stable. I feel like this is someone that's very unhappy. Tell me about the sun reverse. Yeah, ten of wands reverse. This is someone that's really weighed down. I mean, I, I mean, this is someone that um, that's not doing well. Strength reverse, sun reverse. You know, and it's like they want to talk about this, or they're having clarity about this. You know, they're being. They're able to see the situation for what it is. Can I get one more here for the Four of Cups reverse? Why is the Four of Cups reverse? This could also be somebody that wants to come back in out of the cold. Three of Pentacles reversed again. The Star reversed. Aquarius energy, feeling hopeless, losing faith. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Three of Cups reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed again. Um, I feel like there's some sort of interference here. I don't know if it's in the form of a person, but I feel like it's, it's really getting in the way of your connection. The person who's manifesting is your person. They have the Eight of Coin on their end, so it's like they're willing to work on something Put an effort into something. Tell me about the Five of Cups. There's a Five of Cups here. Oh, kind of the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yes, they, they regret the fact that they didn't put an energy or effort into something that they should have. They didn't feel like doing that in the past. Or maybe they didn't they worked on the wrong thing. They invested in the wrong thing here. Let me grab another deck so I can look at your energies specifically. I'm going to use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck to get your energies here. Tell me more about Pisces and this other person that they're dealing with, Spirit. Tell me about 
Pisces and this other person. What's the energy that they bring to this connection? Tell me about Pisces. Oops. That's sloppy. Tell me about Pisces. What's the energy that they're bringing to this connection? Happy ending, abundance, joy, fulfillment. So I feel like this is what you want. Some of you have a family with this person or have children with this person. True love. Yeah, okay, so I feel like this person probably you had, there was a lot of potential. Restoring balance. Hmm. Maybe this was a very strong connection. Things didn't work out. I feel like you're optimistic about where this could go. Tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with. About the person that Pisces is dealing with, Spirit. Their energy at this time. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Walking away. Departure journey movement. I don't know if this person walked away from you in the past or they need to walk away from something, some sort of bond. Clarify for Give some more insight to this connection between Pisces and this person. Let's see. Now, Pisces, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here? Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed for Pisces? Star reverse. The Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles reverse. Cups. There could be two different people here. Or it could be that someone has a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, but they're hiding them behind a mask of seriousness, of like back off, you know. Gonna get more. For the three of pentacles reverse. Sorry, or temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Something's not coming together here. Something hasn't been healed. Um, <clears throat> it's more time, more, more effort, more energy put in. Um, there could be someone that's feeling very impatient that something's taking so long. Um, two, these two cards are very similar, um, especially in this deck. They're both kind of um, have the water, uh, water cups, you know, uh, one on each hand. Slowly making two very different things come together in harmony. And the star card is about renewal faith healing and they're both reversed so something has not worked out here and it could be because someone's not able to put in the work or there's some sort of interference here tell me about this queen of cups tell me about the queen of cups please so this is what your person is manifesting something to do with something to do with how they feel uh, i feel like they're motivated by how they feel by emotions tell me about this queen of swords what's the queen of swords here page of cups reverse right there's heart and disappointment and that's why this queen of swords has this facade wants to manifest love or manifest something with the person they love. And I think that's your person. 
But I think you also, because I have the five of reverse in your energy, this is about a recovery. Recovering what's lost, what's missing. Why is the five of coin reverse? The hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo here. Tell me about the five of coin reverse. The moon. So there probably is in communication between you and this person, Pisces. There you are, your energy is showing up here. There might have been a disconnect in communication um, or you feel very far apart from this person. There is confusion or a trying to like get some answers here. We have the strength card, Leo energy, all major arcanas. I don't know. This is about restoring balance, but in a very, like, I feel like you're, if this is your energy here, which for me as a reader it is, but I don't know if you're watching, you know, feel free to flip these if they resonate more. But if this is the energy that you are in Pisces, then I feel like you are focused on doing things right to regain control, regain balance of the situation. And it's like, you're trying to make sure that this works this time or something like that, that you're successful. Tell me if that's resonating down in the comments. Why is the eight of coin here for your person? Why is the eight of coin here? Eight of swords reverse, breaking free of a mental prison or a situation that someone feels mentally stuck in or, or physically stuck in could be. Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands reverse. So the more work, okay, so work is needed because this isn't, this hasn't officially started with the Page of Reverse. I feel like this could be somebody that's hesitating, um, holding back with Pentacles or they're hesitating due to finances. Um, they're maybe trying to be careful financially. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Yeah, this is someone hesitating. They haven't officially started or um, taking that necessary risk into a new beginning with the full reverse. Why is the three of cups reverse down here? Why is the three of cups reverse? The tower reverse, my goodness. Why is the three of cups reverse? The reverse. Ace of Wands. That I'm getting Pisces. I feel like a tower needs to fall. But someone delaying that tower or trying to avoid that tower. And I feel like on that tower falls, this new beginning won't take off. Unless someone's the mental block. There's reverse, like I'm concerned. I hope this is not someone that's saying something that's not true. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, this one that um they're not finishing what they start. King of Swords reverse. I don't know if this is someone dealing with a person or a situation that prevents them from taking action or, you know, if they're dealing with this person that's kind of like a villain almost, or if this is them not being truly honest about what needs to happen here. I don't know if this is regarding a third interference or if this is just, you know, the reunion is delayed. Um, the coming together is delayed due to whatever tower hasn't happened yet. If that makes sense. Because this is someone that hasn't taken the steps. They're probably working on it or they're saying they're working on it. Why is the Hermit reverse here in the near future? Tell me more about the Hermit reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed again. We have the Page of Pentacles and then the Seven of Wands reverse. I feel like this is definitely someone, someone that they're not free 
or independent. They could even be financially dependent on someone else or financially tied up somewhere else. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Why is this page of pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Interesting has to this cycle with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. It's like this has to end or be dealt with. Page of Pentacles is all about um, learning something new, uh, working on something new, be, being dedicated, studying something new, um, going after a new opportunity or, you know, receiving an opportunity that has long-term potential. So I feel like this is, I feel like one has to, one, you know, it's almost like this person has to walk away from something in order to start something new. Tell me more about this page of pentacles. Justice reversed. Yes, it could even be a divorce or it could be a karmic situation. And then I have the death card at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy, uh, Libra energy again. Yeah, there's, there's something that needs to end. And there's the eight of pentacles right after that. It's like someone's working on this in order to have a new beginning. You know, hopefully it is wrapping up what needs to be wrapped up here because they're trying to manifest or maybe you're both manifesting something happening here. But you don't have all of the answers. I have a feeling that maybe you're not communicating with this person. Maybe you're watching each on social media or wanting to talk about what has happened, you know, getting some answers here. But I feel like someone hasn't yet, you know, it's like you're thinking this person like withdrew and what are they going to decide? That's kind of the energy I'm picking up. And right now, I don't think they, I think the motivation is there, but I don't think the steps have actually been made yet. I think that there's a lot more work that needs to happen here. And hopefully, you know, the ending of a cycle, you know, this is something that this person's serious about because otherwise this Ace of Wands is not going to happen. This Page of Pentacles is not going to happen. This Ace of Cups up. You know, I really hope that this who is going to start taking the necessary steps. Um, who is going to start taking the necessary steps. Um, 